Lynn Martin wasn't looking for a coyote, so when he popped up all bright-eyed on her night vision camera, it was a surprise. The last night I saw what looked like a coyote, but I've never seen one up close, so I wasn't sure. So I sent it to a couple people and they said, oh yeah, that's coyote. State wildlife officials agree it's a coyote and point out some facts to keep in mind. Coyotes are all over Florida, eat about anything they can find, from garbage to pet food. And cats and small dogs are at risk when coyotes are around. She's only had these little cameras a couple of weeks, but she wanted to set them up and see exactly what goes on in her yard while she is safely inside and asleep. She was startled to see a coyote just wandering on through. I don't have small pets, but that's why I sent out a note to the next door neighborhood, get your pets inside because there's a, there's a coyote around. She does have family to think about as well. I do have two small grandchildren, so I would uh, definitely want to be on high alert if, if I knew they were in the area. State officials say only in rare circumstances are people at risk. Coyotes are shy and will usually run off unless they're being fed. Exactly why no wild animals should be fed by people. And for people with pets, you shouldn't walk or let them out at night, dusk, or dawn when coyotes are most active. And if you can't avoid those hours, carry some sort of noisemaker to haze or scare the coyote and use a short leash. Martin says the coyote didn't quickly pass through. They stayed in this area for about, he stayed in this area for about an hour and a half. So, so far she says she hasn't really seen this coyote for a handful of days, but let's say you see one and you're out and about, what should you do? The state experts say you should make yourself as large as possible, make yourself loud, maybe use an air horn or even a squirt gun. Some coins in a can, anything to make a racket. Haze the coyote, keep him moving on his way. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.